Hey, what up, Curvis? This is Jemmy from Flintstone Media with your 55th episode of the Curve the Cube podcast. Yay! I'm here with my brother. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and uh, we just recorded a super fun Pod Squad episode. Um, unfortunately, Scotty Fusion couldn't be here today. Uh, he had um, he was just being a super dad. He was uh, at his son's school obligation. So kudos to him. But uh, we got together with Jay. He's on this one. My brother is on this one. And Jason Hackett, which you'll remember from uh, episode 49, anchor for WPTV. And the topic of this this episode was all about like toy collections. We went down so many nostalgic, you know, rose down memory lane kind of a thing, and had a lot of laughs. What was there? What was, what was some of your favorite stuff? Well, uh, at first I thought it was a wrestling episode, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> it did start out very he- wrestling heavy. I did that on purpose. I knew Jay was gonna love talking about wrestling, so it was good. Yeah, but it was, but it was, it was really good. We talked about uh, a, a lot of. Uh, Toys from back in the day, and and certain people's obsession over certain toys, <laughs> which, well, which which I did not fully understand. Even though you might be related to those people, <laughs> but you did not have any clue that they're like basically psychotic. When I, it comes I to have no things. idea what you're talking about, none whatsoever. But all will be revealed in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> right. We had a lot, a lot of fun recording. I, I feel it. like that was the most normal one in the episode, which is oddly surprising. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was fairly calm. I was more in awe of like, gosh, these people are weird. Yeah, it was good. We talked about all kinds of stuff, but let's see. We, we talked about um, Hello Kitty. We talked about Legos. We talked about wrestling. We talked about different cards that we love, like Garbage Pail cards, Garbage Pail Kid cards, and um, just all kinds of fun stuff. We got into some really cool stuff. And any parents out there or anybody who's a kid at heart, listen all the way to the end, because in the end, my brother gives an awesome description of one of the best games ever, right? Ever. Ever. We used to play it all the time when we were little. You cannot buy it in stores. No, you know. No. But, but anybody can can create it. That's And the whole, the best part of the game, if you've got children, is, is, to, to, is creating the game yourselves, and, and it's made with very basic things that are easy to buy and super cheap. Yeah, totally. So it's a really, really good episode. You guys are going to love it. And uh, I want to also encourage you to follow Curve the Cube on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, now also on Pinterest. <laughs> Basically, just find us, subscribe to us, love us, follow us, all of that. And um, also go to curvethecube.com and show some pages some love. Uh, yeah, so this episode is sponsored by a dear, dear friend of mine named Janice Massey, who has her own hair salon, and she's fan flippin Rewind back to episode 27 and find out more about her from herself, because uh, she was actually my guest, and she was awesome. That's one of my favorite episodes. And uh, so her, her uh, salon is in West Palm Beach. It's one of the only, actually, I think it's the only boutique-style natural hair salon, and she does a fantastic job. She's Owns it herself. She does all the work herself. She's incredible. Uh, so go to naturalhairbyjanismassey.com or just Google Janice Massey, whatever works. And um, be sure to follow her on Instagram at J- Janice Massey Salon, on Twitter at J Massey Salon, and on Facebook as Janice Massey Salon. It's really, really pretty simple. Um, I also want to say thank you to DJ John Hitta for our music beds. And I think I have covered everything. So with that, I want to say thanks to my brother for helping me with this intro. Yo! Lucky you. Gosh. Anyway, with that, I'll say sit back and relax and enjoy this, the 55th episode of Curve the Cube. It's a Pod Squad episode. Enjoy. Curve the Cube will now initiate. Podcast and. All nine yards. All right, let's do this. All right, let's do this. You guys ready? I'm ready. excited. That's, do you all... that's fancy. Yeah, I know. Scotty gave it to me. It looks all like hail a... Scotty. He's uh, here in spirit. Yo, Scotty, no doubt. Pod squad to the end. He's here Pod in spirit. Pod squad forever, yo. Do you need some water? <laughs> yes, please. I figured it's okay. Can you bring me my water, please? Where is it? It's right there. Oh, okay. What What happens when, if we're doing this and I have to use the loop? <laughs> yeah. I'll just I'll just make a sign like. I don't know. Yeah. Would you like to go I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just say rutabaga, and then I'll just get like on it. Rutabaga. Oh, Lord. Now, you, now you're going to demand that I edit that out. You're such a jerk. <laughs> the loo. I like that. Nobody <laughs> says the loo anymore. Uh, so, yeah. So, you were asking Jason what the, like, topic is today. We're just going to talk about... 
toys and collection of things and oh when i was young uh yeah. my toys were books so oh yeah yeah, yeah i yeah. don't know what toys are well like what were your collection of books um did you have certain uh, i had lawyers? this giant collection <laughs> that you liked. <laughs> i was very much into mark twain no <laughs> i had this giant collection of dinosaur books nice like and each book was about a different dinosaur they're about that thing nice and uh, what was your favorite dinosaur when you were a kid um, T Rex. Yeah. Is everybody's favorite dinosaur. No, nope, not mine. What was your favorite dinosaur? The Constant Office. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> because they theory, theorize that they traveled in herds and they were only about the size of chickens, but that it, it can imagine they're the ones who, at the end of, well, you didn't. Anybody who's read the book of Jurassic Park <laughs> knows they're the ones who killed John Hammond at the end. And I thought that's pretty amazing that this little chicken-sized dinosaur can kill a grown dude. Wait, but you asked him what was his favorite dinosaur when he was a kid, so you knew about this dinosaur when you were a kid? I read Jurassic Park when I was like, I don't know, 12, 13? It was out way back then? The book? 12, 13, for real? The yeah. book! The book? Yeah, because I know God, I was... like... <laughs> it came out in like the 80s. Right? Yeah, like... Yeah. Oh, it did? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they made the movie. I read yeah. the book in... Middle school. Yeah. See, I'm not that weird. I seen the I seen the bootleg movie, yo. For real. <laughs> bootleg movie. Yeah, I got it for ten dollars, and you can see the people standing up and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead serious, man. <laughs> so I want to make sure we New York? introduce the Bronx. How'd you guess? There you go. I want to make sure you. I everyone can introduce themselves on the podcast because we do have two new voices, and no one's going to be. Well, I mean, we've heard you before, but mm -hmm. on a different in a different context. So I just want to make sure. I mean, Jay, say hello to the people. Yo, what up, your boy Papa Jay in the house? You know what I mean? I'm here, yo, <laughs> Scotty. Represent, baby. We love you, Scotty. No doubt. Oh, sorry, I turned that down. I'm just hoping that he does surprise us with a call, but we'll see. And Jason, go ahead. Uh, Jason Hackett, you heard me on a podcast, a couple of podcasts ago, um, with News Channel 5, anchor reporter over there, and uh, happy to be back. Yay! Happy to uh, go through this podcast experience again. It was Glad to have time. you on. Yeah, welcome, my dude. For really. I loved your podcast. It was really good. Thank you. I, I got I, I got caught up a couple of weeks ago, because I had to like, go through the whole slew. Yeah. Because there's so many. Because every time I think I'm getting caught up, then she's like, oh, I just did three more. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, we laughed so much on, on that podcast. It was ridiculous. I, I, I laughed a lot. Okay, and, and who is this other mysterious voice over here? My name is Jean Gérard Le Gagneur. Oh, Jesus Look, you just. <laughs> Esquire. <laughs> Otherwise known as Gerard G. Money. By who? My friends. <laughs> That's why you don't know me by that. <laughs> Burr. Burr. No, also I'm, known as my brother. Her, her dumb brother, yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, awesome. awesome. We do have the same parents. Don't don't let pictures fool you. Oh, whatever. Just because I'm the cute one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you two get along so well. Oh, it's, it's brilliant. I feel the love. It's really fun. Yeah, it's just spreading it all awesome. the apartment. <laughs> Watch out. A anyhow. Anyhow. So, yeah, tell us about what you used to get into when you were a kid. What kind of collections do you have? I know you brought some stuff. Yeah, before. basically, my I thing mean, was always yeah. uh, uh, wrestling. Yeah. Mm. Uh, he Man's, uh, G.I. Joe's, you know, stuff like that. But I'm a big, I mean, to this day, I still have my wrestling collection. And um, I'm a big time wrestling fan, and yeah. you know I fight. People call it fake. I'll show them how fake it is. You know oh. what I mean? Because I'm Captain KBJ, Mr. BJ, Papa J, no doubt. So you could just call me J, yo. You have like WWF figurines? Yo, no doubt. Okay, I got I, original stuff and everything. So that was my thing growing up, and um, yeah. I, I love it. I, I just you know right now my living room is full of stuff. You know, yeah. I got like um, shelves cases. full of and cases, and you know I really enjoy it. I'm really interested in your wrestling background, yeah. as as the wrestling uh, um, here. Well, when I was going to uh, uh, TV production, mm -hmm. um, the professional wrestlers would come do their promos, mm -hmm. and so basically what I did was um, they they had a school, and uh, I would do the video work for them. So while I was doing the video work for them, they were training me. So every time they would have a show, I was one of the cameramans, and I was you know doing the editing and the whole nine yard for them. And at the same time, I was getting trained. So I, I, I've known, you know, I've worked in the past, like, with Triple H, with China. Mm -hmm. um, before China, her name was Joni. Before she made it big time, she used to be in the independent circle. Right. And she wrestled a lot here in South Florida. So I got into that little, um, 
that little pack there, you know, that little family. And then, um, you know, basically that was basically yeah. I took bumps. You know, I know how to give bumps the whole nine yards. <laughs> Careful wow. when you say I yeah. took bumps. Well, yeah, bump, bump. That could be okay. a lot of different okay. things. Okay, I, I need help. Right. Send me one. All right, check that. <laughs> a, a, a bump is basically, let's say, for instance, I'm I'm wrestling with you. You know, I'm gonna take a bump for you. Basically, I'm I'm you know, it's all you know. Um, Learning how to wrestle basically is like I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you, but not really. But you better sell it. Yeah. And so basically, mm-hmm. if I'm gonna pick you up and slam you, taking a bump, you can really getting slammed. Yeah. If you're getting hit by a a, a a steel chair, you're really getting hit. There's no way of faking getting I, hit I with a chair. I hate how people are like, oh yeah, it's all fake. Getting hit with a steel chair, you're really getting yeah. hit. Yeah. You, and and, chair, and I hurts. always tell people this: you you can't never you can't fake gravity. If I'm up on the, <laughs> you know, if you up on the on on the on the turnbuckle up there, and they gotta, you know, somebody's gotta come and toss you off. You gotta feel it. There's no spring. People think it's a it's a trampoline. It's not a trampoline. Yeah. It's it's, it's not a trampoline, and you get bumps. So you gotta learn. It's like a stuntman. You you learn how to take bumps. You know, basically. They show you how to fall, to break the fall, make sure you tuck your neck in so you don't break your neck. Yeah. And that's why a lot of injuries happen because let's say, for instance, if I'm over here and I'm fighting against, wrestling against Jason, and Jason, sometimes we have, a, 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 you could be very uh, heavy-handed. You ever play with somebody and you you, you you playing with them and out of nowhere they just hit you with that uh, one hit? Yeah, my and, child. <laughs> right. Well, it's the same exact right thing. Back. You know, you go back and right back. Exactly. You're <laughs> very heavy. A lot of wrestlers right don't like back. to work with people who are very heavy-handed mm-hmm. uh, because... You gotta be gentle. You gotta make it look good because you gotta work with these people. And if you're gonna hurt me, then I'm gonna hurt you back. And then that chemistry, every time we go in the ring, it's not that you ain't gonna floor it right. Right, right. So to take bumps, I'm gonna take those bumps for you, but you better take them for me too. So I'm gonna throw you, toss you, and everything, pick you up. And the thing is that you gotta help me. So right. if I'm gonna pick you up, there's certain ways, certain things you could do for me to pick you up. So like help me help you. Let me help you. And, and you know, people say, um, what's fake about it is basically it is scripted. Mm-hmm. You know, they do have a storyline and everything, but sometimes right. there's improv in there because if I'm wrestling you, we go in the back, I say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to power drive you, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. And then in the ring, it might work out a different way because you got to feed off the crowd. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got to learn and listen what the crowd wants. If the crowd is going, yay, for something, do it again. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you just continue on doing it. And then you know, okay, this is the uh, spot that we got to work on. But there's some, some guys out there who got a big head. Yeah. And they don't want to work with you because they the ones that want to get over. And when I mean getting over, they want they want to win. Yeah. And it's not like that. It's like you go to win, and I'm gonna win. You go to win, and, it, 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 and, not, and then that's when the real punches happen. I mean, if you look back and you could look on YouTube, put YouTube, and you put like uh, <laughs> real fights, you see when it, it goes breaks. from when it goes from them doing their spots like boom, boom, yeah. boom, to like boom, 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 and you're like, oh wow, this is for real. And then yeah. sometimes the back got to come out and break it up, and you're like, oh wow, remember John Cena and, the, and Brock mm-hmm. last year. Yeah. And Brock busted his mouth open. That wasn't in the script, but they really went at it. Yeah, and they had yeah. to break them apart. Didn't I see you get tossed by a girl? Uh, she was in MMA <laughs> fight. <laughs> yeah. So that's basically it. I'm sorry, this isn't not Jason podcast. Do you, do you wrestle? <laughs> I wish I did, but no. no. I'm a big fan. This was uh, a, it was a, what was it? Did you tell it? What it was, was a, it was a story on a local uh, MMA fighter. Uh, she was born in Boca. Uh, and we were just doing a story on the MMA scene here in uh, South Florida. And for my tease, I told her to just toss me. Just, you know, I'm going to say, uh, I'm Jason Hackett coming up later tonight. We're going to talk to this MMA fighter about blah, blah, blah. And then I said, okay, and after I finished saying that, just toss me. And so she picked me up and she just threw me right to the ground. Nice. And, uh, and everybody loved it. The outtakes were right. hilarious. Yeah, there, there were several outtakes. That were close to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was great. <laughs> then I slowed down and I put some music and whatnot. So. Nice. Um, yeah, it was we could have an entire podcast about this. I know, like, I, I know. I, I could listen to you talk about this thing for, forever because big wrestling fans. I, mean, I don't want to belabor the point, but it's like, you know, I, I was deep into MMA, I mean, MMA, into WWF when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. And I mean, not into where I got the figurines or anything like that, but I mean, I was obsessed. I mean, I had to watch. And then when they came out with like, you know, I was like, I was like all about, I remember like Ricky, I was like, I was like Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Oh wait, first yeah. it was Ricky Steamboat. Then when he added the dragon, I was like, oh, he's like, because he was my favorite. <laughs> and it was like George Animal Steel and like, and like, uh, you know, obviously they had Andre the Giant and all those people. Right. And I was like obsessed with it. And then when they started coming out with the WrestleManias mm-hmm. and then like the steel cage, I've never seen anything like this. Now, I knew it was quote unquote fake or scripted. Let's just say scripted, right? right? But I appreciated it for the story it was because I was like, I hope they don't make like, I also liked, you know, like, uh, like, like uh, Hulk Hogan and things like that. I was like, I hope yeah. they don't make him lose this week or whatever. <laughs> but it was like a story. Like, if you accepted it was a story, 
but you were being entertained. Yeah. It was yeah. fun, and I, I was a, I was totally upset. Soap right. opera in the ring. That's what. Yeah. It was. Right. Yeah. So That's exactly yeah. what I was thinking. Right. It's, yeah. It's, it's, you, yeah. You see, when I watch it to this day, I don't think about it as it's scripted because mm-hmm. the like I can't watch it with somebody who basically is gonna knock it because I get upset mm-hmm. because that's yeah. like you know if you think about it like. Back in the day, I used to box PAL, and in boxing, there's certain things that are scripted when it comes to, like, the pre-fight, you got to amp it up. In MMA, right. there's certain things that are scripted, you got to amp it up, because just because I'm going to go, if it, in reality, if I'm going to fight you, hey, what's up, how you doing, good luck. That's boring. We got to, uh, I'll talk about you, you talk right. about me. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So everybody, when they always knock about the wrestling, and I, I, I like I said, literally, if, I, if I'm sitting next to somebody that's talking about that, I got to be rude and be like, you know what, Bobby? Do me a favor. You got to <laughs> keep it a little bit. Keep your you know, opinions to yourself or, you know, go out of the room because it's like you're watching something and they're like, oh, look at it. Are you kidding me? You have to suspend your belief. Exactly. You got to suspend it. You know what I mean? And it enjoy it for what it is. Enjoy the physicality. You got to respect the physicality. And the tidy these, little shorts. I'm going to tell, <laughs> tell you one thing. These guys, these guys, they like, they, they, they're, they're athletes yeah. because they have to work like 275 days a year. They on the road. They wrestling day in and day out. Sometimes they got two or three shows. That's the thing that when you work with somebody, I don't want to hurt you because that's going to mess up my right, pay. Right, right, That You know, people think, oh, WrestleMania. You know, when you WrestleMania and the main event, those guys are getting paid millions. Yeah. yeah. They, it's it's just like it's just like if you were in the main event in boxing, those guys are making top notch. Yeah. So like the people that are up in the top rank that are bringing in the ratings, they making more money than somebody who's on the low. It's not like oh these guys are all getting a paycheck every week. No, you get paid millions. Yeah. For your fights. Yeah. Especially those pay per views. The more it draws in, the more money you make. And so I know you say you you didn't really. Well, I knew this because we were up together, but you didn't really <laughs> collect. Are any you sure? Of that. <laughs> that <was> so ridiculous. <laughs> um, you didn't really collect any of the, the figurines and stuff. I know you did. Mm-hmm. Did you do? I know you do now. Did right. you collect them when you were a kid too, or is yes. it more? So I know you said that your mom. My mom. A lot of a lot of your motivation for getting them now right. is your mom. Because my mom used to buy. We used to go to Woolworth. Yeah. I'm saying it right, right? Woo-woo. Yeah, close enough. All right. <laughs> and, I to, and I remember they, I used to get the, the, you know, the rubber ones. Remember back in the day and they had little posters and they had the whole Kogans and, you know, they were just, oh, yeah. you can't move them. They just like, right, right. you know, and they were about like, uh, let's say not seven, dolls. eight inches or whatever. They, oh, no, they're not dolls, man. Come on. How you got disrespecting like that, man? Come on, girl. Well, you know me better than that. Don't do that, yo. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that. You know, but, you know, I, and I used to collect them and then I used to, I had a few of them. And then as I got older, you know, you give some away here and there. And then when I got to that age where it was like, man, I wish I had my toys back. Um, I started going out to flea markets and buying them again and started collecting them. And I even got some newer ones now that I have. Um, I would never pay, pay full price for a toy because I could get the same toy. You, you got it for $10 in Toys R Us. I go to the flea market a month later <laughs> and whoever bought that for that kid, they want to make some money to take it. They'll sell it for a dollar yeah. and I'll get it. It's not packaged, but they still have it. Yeah. Right. You know, so a lot of my toys I got after a while and, and you know, I, I started buying them again. And, and But there's a handful of them that I still have that my mother bought me that are like, that's like, you know, don't mess with my toys, you know what I mean? Because I will fight you. <laughs> I remember we were on the phone once, and I remember he has two daughters, and we were on the phone once, and I remember you turned around and said, stay away from the toys, stay away from my daddy's action figures or something yeah. like that. And like, it's right there's certain day. ones that I let them touch. They yeah. older now, but, yeah, yeah. you know, there's certain things like that. This that is like a year ago. Yeah, but um, there's certain, there's ones that I don't touch because that's rare. Like, yeah. they, no, 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 no. Yeah. You know, they don't make those anymore. So do you have some that are like in the original packaging that are yeah. covered in plastic? I got I got them up on my uh at my office wall, like up on top and everything. Uh-huh. So, yeah. so tell us what you brought. What did you bring? Oh yeah, yeah, no doubt. Let's check this out over here. I got a macho man. <laughs> yeah! Oh a macho yeah. man. <laughs> man, I don't this know is, Elizabeth. Oh, oh, I know. This is the, the Eddie Guerrero. That's uh, Eddie Guerrero. He passed away. He lies. He cheats. Look, and he yep. Junkyard dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Junkyard dog. Check this out. <laughs> Hulk Hogan. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Jake oh, the Snake Robber. Oh, I forgot about that. I love yep. that guy. Jimmy Snooker. Wow. Don't remember Superfly. that. Superfly. 
Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Beefcake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, I forgot Tito about Tito Santana. Santana. Oh my god. <laughs> like, I'm having flashbacks as you're saying yeah. it. I forgot about these guys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Big cool. Boss Man. Wow. Awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> you're no joke. And, <laughs> and look at one on NWA. This is rare. NWA. Roll Warrior Animal. Wow. From what his NWA, this is back in like 82, 83. Jeez. What? Wow. Yeah, you, that's the year you were born. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's Jake the Snake? Is this Jake the Snake? Yep, that's Jake the Snake right there. Jeez. Yep, that's the Jake the Snake. So I see that guy brought a couple of, you know. Wow. Yeah. I, I can't believe you have the big boss man. Yeah, big boss. I, I got quite a few big <laughs> boss men. I have quite a few, you know. Wait, and who is this guy? Beefcake? That, yep, that's yeah. Brutus the Barber Beefcake. That's crazy. Back in the day when he was there, that he was just uh, Brutus Beefcake. Right. Right. I forgot about so many of these. But like, if you look oh, at it. Squishy. Should be Eddie Guerrero? He was one of my favorites. Yeah, Eddie Guerrero. Without yep. a doubt, one of my favorites. He was amazing. Yep. So that's basically my some of my collection. This is not even, this is like, this is a, nothing. A drop in the bucket. Yeah, this is nothing, right? But I wanted to bring stuff that I know you guys would appreciate it. How you many know? would you say that you have? Like, oh, ultimate? um. Each individual doll. <laughs> or, not doll. Not doll. Action figure. Action figure. Um. I caught myself. Don't about. Worry. Let's say uh, about five hundred or more. Oh my! Wow! Yeah, I like a hundred. <laughs> oh no, no! I had one time years ago. I had this guy who was like, "I bet you I got more." And this is not too long ago. And it was a friend of mine's father because he went to a flea market. And he bought like a box. Like, I bet you I got more than you. So let me let me see what you got. So he went to his closet, brought out a the box. He probably bought you know about fifty or sixty. I looked at him, I said, okay, you got more than me, all right? And he's like, uh, do I? And I'm like, nah. And I gave, I gave him the number, he's like, nah, never mind. Uh, never mind. But yeah, but these are my babies right here. Like, like basically, um, the, the ones that I bought, like, that I have from our kid is uh, Jimmy Snooker, uh, Jake the Snake, uh, Junkyard Dog, Tito Santana. But Hulk Hogan, I got him at a flea market, and Macho Man, I got him in the flea market. Because... Those are, I lost those or I gave them away growing up. Was there like one main toy maker for these or? Yeah, yeah. There was there was a uh, I, uh, I think it was called Tonka. This Tonka. One. I haven't heard that yeah. name forever. Yeah, right. I, I, yeah. Oh my god. Hogan has uh, Titan Sports on. Right now they tie in. Right now they tie in sports. <laughs> also, look into his eyes. <laughs> look into, look his, into eyes. his eyes. Okay, so what yeah. is he on? <laughs> what is he on? Because his pupils are entirely, first of all, pointing in different directions. <laughs> yeah, so basically wow. I got this. I got I championship got belts. Um, I got. I even got thumb thumb wrestlers. Jeez. Remember the thumb wrestlers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh I got gosh, thumb wrestlers. That's so funny. Yeah, I got, I got different. I, but besides me having um, uh, wrestlers, I also have... Um, Batman stuff, you know, Marvel, DC, mm -hmm. or you know, I got Batmobiles, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. 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 You so I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. This is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, man. Wow. So uh, go ahead. I was just gonna say, I mean, I'm, I feel jealous because I mean, I gave away basically all my toys, um, and I had a pretty good collection. You know, uh, at some point when I just, you know, I was, I was in high school, and my mom was like, "Hey, you want to give them away to like, you know." She wanted to give away to charity to like Haiti. So, so yeah, basically, it's basically Haiti. Toy Story three is what happened. To <laughs> <me>. Yeah, <basically. laughs> yeah exactly, and, right. exactly. But uh, I wish I kept at least there. a couple. But you know. Well, you you were into the Transformers. I remember big time. Oh, I was hardcore into Transformers. Transformers and Centurions and He Man. Those were Voltron. All things. And Voltron. I have Voltron. I had the original Voltron. You know the 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 Iron Cast. Wait, there were three. As far as I can remember, there were three Voltrons. There was the lions. The, there was I had the, the lions, and then there I didn't was like the cars. There like was the a lion, the cars, and then they had the the other one was like planes or ship it or was, space it was, or whatever something. Whatever it was, it was stupid. Yeah, it was stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like I, I had, had the, the lions. Yeah, I had the lion ones. Remember? I remember it. Yeah, and yeah, I no. formed the head. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Watch the cartoon, everything. I was like all about Voltron. Yeah. But I. After this, I'm gonna go pick them up. I got a couple of DVDs to come watch them. Nice, <laughs> nice. nice. Yeah. So I'm gonna um, just break out the girl stuff real quick so I can represent my ladies. All right, that's Super what's fast. up. Is that what's under the That is what's blanket? under the... <laughs> yes. All right, let's so, see this. Let's see this. This is what people don't understand is actually true. I have not... I've seen Ooh. some crazier collections online, but... All right. 
<laughs> oh my god. Wow. wow. I didn't even know you were. <laughs> Hello, Kitty. <laughs> I wow. Mean, wow. Yeah, she I got everything what? from books to I just phones. Out of storage. She even got a beeper. What's the beeper? A beeper? Yeah. Where? Uh, that's not a beeper? Where? This? Oh, yeah. No, never mind. No, it's just a clock. <laughs> I have, I have, I have uh, my lava lamp. It works. Um, Ooh, what's this? Speakers. Oh, of course you would pick that one out. Okay. That is I literally the Hello Kitty personal massager. <laughs> Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Are we gonna change the rating of this podcast? This Tracy St. George was like floored that I had that. So I've never been out of the box. Use it to, use it to I'm, 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 I'm very. But I had to get it because I heard it was like an urban myth of like there's no way there, this thing exists. So you use no it to way. massage your back? Uh, never neck. used it to massage anything, but. I right, can we not? Can we, can we move on? The, yeah, he, that's my brother. He doesn't want to hear this. <laughs> All right then. But, but yeah, it, it, it does exist. I thought it was a pen. It does exist, <laughs> and to top it off, I have a. Oh come on! You got to do better than that. My shirt lights up, but it stopped lighting up. Wow! Like, for, you saw it flash for like a second. For oh, a second, you were like, was, you're, you're like Hello, Hello Kitty, Kitty Iron Man. <laughs> and don't you got a Hello Kitty? There it is. Oh, there you go. There nice. It goes. Your hey, wait a minute. <laughs> it's an like arc reactor. It's, oh, oh, wow. And it actually, it reacts to sound, yeah. And you hey, got a, a tattoo too, right, to match it? Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about it. Yeah, she got a tattoo. <laughs> Holy <laughs> smoke. And, and, and you know what? When I was, I mean, I don't really know the story on Hello Kitty, but yeah. how long Hello, Hello Kitty's been around? For I mean, since the 70s or 80s. Oh, really? She's like the, she's like, um, the Mickey Mouse of Japan, essentially. So, I mean, I have everything from, like, Christmas lights... That I don't think these have ever been. Oh, <laughs> no, that's awesome! You, you, you haven't opened up so much of this stuff. I know, because I don't know. Have you ever checked things out to see how much this is worth? No, but I probably should. But I don't know if I could ever actually get. I mean, some of it I could get rid of, like these random, like just a photo album. I could get rid of that, you know. Right. Like what that, is the allure? So, yeah. all right, it's funny. Here's the thing: I didn't actually start collecting this stuff until I was in my early mid twenties. Mm -hmm. Early twenties. Yeah, Cheryl days. Mm -hmm. Early twenties, early mid twenties. So, mm, uh, I was going through a little bit of a rough time, and my friend Cheryl loved Hello Kitty, and she would. There used to be a Hello Kitty store at the Boynton Mall. So what she would do is she'd say, "Get in the car, we go to the mall," and you, you can't. This, 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 the store vomits happiness. <laughs> so <laughs> you can't help but walk in and just become happy. Mm -hmm. And then broke because you end up buying all this crap. <laughs> but it was so worth it. Like it just is so cute. It just it just made your day. And the thing is, it's great about it. It's all really well made too. Really well made. So kudos to San Rio because they make some good stuff. Like I don't know. It's just really well made. I had the suitcases. Holy smokes! I didn't. Even... <laughs> Whoa! Where's the oh, suitcases? I know. I didn't yeah, even see and that. And then in this one, in this one, I have. Oh um, <laughs> stop it! I have. Um, like extra bags, purses. Oh, oh my god! Little backpack. Wow! Wow! <laughs> yeah, this is serious. You're yeah. insane. I know. <laughs> okay. I know. And those are speakers. Speakers, computer speakers. Is that a waffle maker? Probably. Where? Where? <laughs> On the floor. <laughs> that right there. Yeah. Am I no, 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 no. This is this is this is next. But yeah. Okay. So I know. <laughs> I, uh, I have books and everything. I even have um. Uh, mar remarkable story of Hello Kitty. Since you're the book man, I'll hand that to you. And uh, I, I, these must have been McDonald's toys because I have three of them. Oh my god! So I'm assuming they're McDonald's toys, but they're little pretend. Hello. Yeah, you like can pretend that you're making toast, but it's paper. <laughs> That's paper. <laughs> That's paper. Like you can write notes. Oh snap! And, That's cool. um, oh my! Look at that. I mean, and then I have like all these. Look at I have a nightlight. All these different notebooks and things, and everything has a lot of the stuff has extra stuff in it that I bought. Oh my god! Everything's falling. Is it Hello so, Kitty? Everything. Like in this one, I haven't opened these yet. Wow. This one has my wallets. <laughs> but let me ask you a question: That uh, Hello Kitty comes in different colors. Well, no, no, no. That so just like Disney Disney World has different characters. You have Goofy. Oh, okay. Goofy, this is a cat. Well, what's the name of this one? Choco Cat. Choco Cat. Choco Cat. So the, I'm assuming there's a cartoon. <laughs> Oh, you got Choco oh, you right there! Cat. Oh my god! Tattoo. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't even know that. You didn't? No. Choco Cat. What? How many Hello Kitty? I don't know all the tattoos. How, how many Hello Kitty tattoos do you have? That's the two. That's the two. The two. They don't have a Chico Cat or something. Yes. Chico Cat. Chico Cat. <laughs> there you go. There's, but there's, yeah, there's Baby Cinnamon. There's all kinds of, all kinds of characters. Baby Cinnamon. I just love them all. You so told me it's a cartoon them. once, right? 
Yeah, and it sucked. That's yeah. the only thing they made poorly. I've never seen. I mean, they have it cartoons. Don't bother. Why? Because they in English. <laughs> no. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's not, you know, you gotta physics. watch it, you know. <laughs> no, they're just boring. I just never got into them. I'm like, that's, mm, I expected more. I don't know, I didn't like it. Next did, time. You, did you notice that post that I did on Facebook? It was like, you know, 20 things that will, that you will ruin your idea of no, I don't want to hear it. And I no, no, I'm not going to tell you. But I specifically said, Jemmy, do not. Can you see? <laughs> no, because there's something in there about Hello Kitty. And I was like, oh, oh. I think it's either it's either oh. that she's not a cat. What? Or that she. I know it's so oh, stupid. Hello, so Hello Kitty. Sanrio is... was trying to com was trying to claim that she. Oh, she's not a cat. She's a little girl. Um, what? No, that's a cat. Right, it's, her name is Hello Kitty. Like, what are you talking about? That's she has whiskers. Thing, that's what the, that's what that is it? It's not a cat. Yeah, and, but, no, uh, so, uh, the girl who was on my last podcast, Jenny Crumpler, if anyone could ruin, if any fact could ruin Hello Kitty for me, she told me, and it is, she's like, you know, Japan, where Hello Kitty's from, is the land of where women are to be seen and not heard. I'm mm -hmm. like, yeah, she's like, you notice how Hello Kitty has no mouth. No mouth. Like, oh, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's, the, what's the problem? Me, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just oh, it's one. good. <laughs> so yeah, it's like different. Just I don't know. I just collected a whole bunch of stuff. Like oh. this one here is a box full of I don't know what's even here. Stickers. I guess I put stickers in this one. What's so your I favorite just, thing in all of this? Yeah. Like, what's the thing that your your go to thing? Your go to Hello Cat Kitty. Hey, Chico Cat has a little mouth. Well, Choco cat. Oh my bad. She and it's not a mouth. It's a collar. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, you sure? Yeah. That's not a tongue. Yeah, I was gonna say that's not no, a tongue. It's, no, oh, it's a I thought collar. I, was, I thought. Collar. Oh, okay, my bad. So he's a boy. Um, I guess. That's a boy. Oh, that's a boy. Mm -hmm. So then he's supposed to have a mouth. If your friend oh. was right. And Ooh. a hand. Uh, Hip hand. A <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know. Uh, you know, I think my favorite character ended up becoming Choco Cat. Um, because the quick story behind that is, so Cheryl was my best friend at the time, and we used to have this joke about us, um, because she's white, and that we are just as cute but different colors, and so she was represented by Hello Kitty, I was represented by Chocolate Cat, Cat. Yeah. so he ended up becoming my favorite, but I mean, clearly, I could, re I could relate, because back in the day I used to play Chips. Yeah. And I was always wondering why the kids in the neighborhood always wanted me to play punch, and I was like, oh, because he's what, Latino. What's that? I don't even know what that is. You don't, chips, chips, you don't know what chips? Chips? I don't know what Eric, punch is! I never Estrada? Eric Estrada, yeah. you know, punch, Frank punch. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I never saw the no, show, no. When I you were saying, no, no, I know that. When you were saying play oh, yeah. chips, I'm thinking poker. <laughs> when he was a kid. Jeez. When I was a kid, he played poker. Chips. I had poker chips when I was, I don't know. That's why, that's why Hello Kitty doesn't have a mouth. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, you suck. It was the same thing for me though. When I was younger, I was always the Black Power Ranger, whatever we. Oh, yeah. <laughs> always the oh, Black Power Ranger. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. now what else you got what here? I gotta get closer to this collection. This yeah, is it's amazing. pretty insane, isn't uh, it? Are we good with uh, the mics? We good? Uh, yeah, I think we're okay. I All think right. so. I mean, maybe I'll bring the baby mic over here. Yeah, baby mic. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. I don't know if their battery is in any no, of this. I mean, stuff. I knew you were obsessed. But, but I, I didn't know. know you were this obsessed. Like, yeah, this, stuff, this is all my stationery over here. It's crazy. Like, you know what just happened just now? You is... got a, a window into the weird side of, extra weird side of Jenny? Yeah, but to such, <laughs> a, yeah, but to such an extent, like, normally when I'm, you know, like, if I see a Hello Kitty thing, I don't go looking for Hello Kitty things for you. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. But if I see something and I'm like, oh, you know, maybe she's, she's, she's like this, maybe I'll get it for her. Now I'm thinking, not gonna do that anymore. <laughs> She, she probably it, right? already has it. No, or like, you know, I don't want to feed this. this, <laughs> Is this craziness? Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, there, no. There's a $2 bill. In this oh, wow. Thing. Nice. Uh, As if I wasn't random enough. There is a $2 a two dollar Thomas Jefferson bill. Oh, that's, that's not a Hello Kitty bill. That's no, not a it's a real wow. two dollar bill. You might want to save that. Jenny. I know. Co co um, yeah, what do you call it? Nice. Um, colored pencils. I have all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Let, yeah. Let's check over. I'm so weird. I'm so weird. Back. You probably got money in there. Yeah. Probably. I don't know. You probably have some silver dollars over there. Yeah. Yeah. The only okay. So um, the only thing I'm missing that I never, I can't believe I, I lost it. I used to keep this journal. <coughs> I kept a journal for about a year. And I, I don't even know what happened to it, and I'm so upset that I lost it. But Are yeah, you sure it's not a was it Hello Kitty? It might be buried in here somewhere. Yeah. Was it head of Hello Kitty? It was a Choco sure. Cat one. It was a Choco oh, Cat choc one. Yeah, Choco choc choc Cat. I found a poem. 
Oh, oh maybe. Oh, yeah. Well, don't read it because I don't know. Because oh. <laughs> at that age, I was highly inappropriate. <laughs> no, I didn't. I mean, just looking at the first few lines. Uh, uh, hold my breath in as you breathe. Yeah, don't read that. No. <laughs> Holy smokes! I will read it. I will. I will refrain from reading that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, totally. I, this yeah, is sticker amazing. book. Wow. You are so fascinated, Jason. I really am. I love is, it. This, this is. is this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> Did they have a, they don't, there's no Hello Kitty action figures? Uh, like, no, actually. Good, good, good observation. Good observation. No, I, mean, I don't think I cool. ever saw them. They all, it's always stuff. It's always like things you use, like clocks or markers. It's always things you use. Have you Not ever seen lamp. anyone try to like be Hello Kitty for Halloween or something? Yeah, yeah. They have a Hello oh. Kitty mask. Like in that, they, there's the, there's just the regular face mask. But there's one that like covers your whole entire head. Um, if you, there's girls, especially in Japan, they go all out. There's actually a Hello Kitty Comic Con I'm dying to go to. I think it's in San Diego. Wow. It's, they, they've done it maybe, I don't know, four or five years. for Hello Kitty. Totally Hello Kitty. Oh, I think I would walk Comic-Con. in and become oh. a hot mess oh. immediately. Oh I would lose my mind. Let me ask you a question. I don't think I can go unless I have like $3,000. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay, you, that, you said that was a cartoon. Yeah. But Hello Kitty doesn't have a mouth, so... How That's what made the cartoon suck. It just wasn't. There was nothing to it. And she has a twin sister whose name I, I'm blanking on right now. Bye bye, Kitty. <laughs> no, no, no. Bye bye. Her Hello. boyfriend's name is uh, Hello Daniel or something. She like has that. a boyfriend. Yeah. That's supposed to be a little girl. I know. Oh, whoa, no. whoa, it's whoa. So scandalous. That's terrible. It's scandalous, man. That's why I don't let my girls watch that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the subliminal stuff. Yeah, I'm good. telling you. It teaches bad morals. I'm, cu- I'm telling you, we should have a flea market. Oh my god. This all is right. awesome. Thank you. All right. So I also, even though this is only a tiny part of the collection, because like my brother said, um, at one point my mom suggested we give a lot of our things away, and I gave the whole rest of this lot to our cousin Raphael, and so this is all that's left, but I used to have a gang of toy cars, Holy like a sense. gang of toy cars. This, these change colors in the water. This is a Batmobile. This That's is a my Batmobile. Batmobile. No, it's not. This, yes, it is. This Whatever. is from 1989. Then, <laughs> that is my Batmobile. I'm holding oh, and now you're getting mad? Well, yeah. <laughs> Batman. This is my Michael car. Ian These cars. change color. Yeah. This is mine. Uh, well, amazing. I took you're care of it for a you. horrible person. <laughs> this yeah. is mine. Yeah. These are all mine. No, they're not. Je- <gasps> okay, so this one Jimmy. is yours. I'll okay, admit. Jimmy. But this one's this one flew. See, the door's open. It means it flies. I know. I'm the one that flew with it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my God. You got a Wonder Bread car. That's, That's not definitely mine. mine. That's oh. not mine. And Jason would like that one. I can't believe you have these. I know. An ice cream truck. I know. Nice. Look at that. What hey. did I do to deserve that treatment, Jimmy? <laughs> Whatever. I loved these cars. And why did they, they, I, I saved them from the tragedy that was the, 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 the mass giveaway. No, wow, you say tomato, I say... <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, so in this, in this container, I, I don't really have a whole lot in here that's interesting, but what I do have is <gasps> classic Wookiee. Oh. That, that would mean so much more to me if I've ever seen Star Wars. Oh, we wow. need to remedy that. that out loud? So yeah. I didn't get on right. you. I didn't get on you when I when I had your it's interview, right. and you got on me about not thinking because I had a massive brain fart that John I, Williams wrote the the theme uh-huh. song, <laughs> and we I totally missed when you said I've never seen it, and I heard it back, and I'm like, how did I not jump on him for saying that? I'm surprised you didn't. At, in okay, the so moment, I've only so. watched it once. But whatever. <laughs> the point is, at I've, least uh, I I've plan on watching all of them before the Force Awakens. I did not. People got on me because I hadn't seen Star Wars until college, and people were like all over. Me. Yeah, and so, but at least I saw it, <laughs> <laughs> and I've seen it multiple, multiple times since then. I've only seen the last three movies one time because they sucked. I thought the last one wasn't actually that bad when he actually turns into Vader. And Vader I like that one. That, that, that one was actually pretty good. Yeah, but those first two, man, that was just. Oh, Jar Jar Binks was the worst. I saw that one in the theater. And that's actually probably why I didn't bother to watch them for a long time. Because actually, it was the first Star Wars movie I saw. Ugh. So, that big mistake. Huge. Yeah, yeah, but then it's just uphill from there. I know. But, but it, it's not just all just Jar Jar. I mean, that sucked. But it just they, they just sucked in general. Those yeah. first two. Oh, yeah. It was really bad. So, one thing I, I found interesting when I was looking through my storage unit that 
um, back in the day, kids got playing cards based on beer and cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. For real? And those are my oh, cards. No, they are okay. not. Yeah, yeah, you they are. All of these things. The, 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 the Budweiser and the Camels. Whatever. Cards. Yeah, and I have the jacket to go with the Camels, and we got them at a trade show. Whatever. Well, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Any, anybody have Pokemon cards? No, uh, I don't. I wish I brought my collection. I have oh, uh, why didn't you? a book like that. Oh, man, cards. you should you, have. You have a Pokemon card? Not anymore. Oh, Not man, I got cards too, and I got millions of cards in the house. Millions? Millions. Bro, millions. millions. Because millions. you know what happened? Check it out. <laughs> my my, uh, my ex-brother-in-law, he has a thrift store. One day he went and cleared out a, a storage, and the guy owned the baseball card uh, shop that went out of business. Mm -hmm. Gave them all to my brother-in-law. My brother-in-law had nothing to use because everything was just like furniture and stuff. So he gave it to me. So in my house, I have boxes and boxes of stuff. I got Pokemon stuff that I'm willing to give you. Aww. Yeah, no doubt that that. that uh, it's impossible. Uh, yeah, because I don't. I, because I'm I'm a type of person that if you have wrestling stuff and you don't want it, you give them to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't know anything about Pokemon. People talk about cards. I don't know. I don't understand anything about it. I don't know anything about it. Like. What is the thing with the cards? I don't think anybody battle with them or something? Something? I don't think anybody actually battled or played with the cards. I think people just collected them just to collect them. I never battled. I never did Pokemon battles. But aren't the there like Pokemon battles? You, you can do that, yeah, if you want to, but I never did. That. I don't know. I've never held a card, yeah. never seen a card. I don't know anything. You yeah. got them because they look cool. Some of them were holographic. Some of them, right. you know, were rare. Like It's all about the characters, right? Yeah, I got, I got, there's, there's some that like, I got gold, gold bars. They're like in a plastic, they look, they, they look like gold. And they cards, but they gold. Really? And they heavy. Yeah, but they're not gold, though. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. And they're pretty heavy. It was from the, um, I know where this is from, the first Pokemon movie. Uh, one of the fast food restaurants was giving out uh, Pokeballs with golden cards in them. Mm. Cards that were, like, made out of gold. Not real gold, obviously. obviously. But they're, <laughs> and they're pretty thick. I know exactly what you're talking about. I had some of those growing up. You want some? I want all of them. I'll give uh, you <laughs> I want every so single one. I'll give them to you. Speaking they're of yours. cards, I'll pass these to you because I think you'll be... You me? Or I don't know. Please tell me those are the only cards I ever cared about. Oh, boy. Garbage pills. No! I, oh, I got some of those. By the way, uh, I, I tried, to, to, find, I tried to find our new ones. I couldn't find them. Before. Yeah, you know they yeah. came back out. They're, really? Yeah, they're good. They're just like the old school. Yeah. They're just, they're super good. I love them. And I, I got us a few of them. I yeah, I, 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 I got us some at the house. All right, let's see what's going on here. Oh! <laughs> wow, <laughs> look at that. Nolan Ryan. Man, I should have brought. You should have told me I would have brought my card. I didn't too. think about it. I, I I was looking for stuff. I'm like, well, I'll just grab this and Let this and that. These are yours too, aren't they? Oh Jesus! These are, wow. <laughs> okay. Chris Marlin, hey, Michael Jordan. I, I kept them safe. Why would for you have these? these? I don't know. Larry Bird. If my Michael Jordan is in here, Jimmy. James then you're Hardy, happy because Moses I kept Malone. it safe for you. Look at it, Marlins. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> Wait, which season? That's the 93, so that's like they're the real yep. season. Really, yeah. yeah. Wow. That was a yeah. big word for me to say. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Nice. <laughs> it's so bad. This is, this is not only a this, podcast, this. it's also an intervention. An yeah, intervention. no doubt. You know what I mean? Dennis she knew she had to do this in front of witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What? Oh my Michael Jackson cards? Jimmy. <laughs> uh oh. Oh my god. <laughs> this, this is... So aren't you glad that they're safe? Yeah. And within the family still? You're not safe. Oh, <laughs> all right. All right. All right. While well, he's while well, he's George Brad Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson. Oh wow. my god. Wow. Wow. He wow, was wow. he was named after Ricky Nelson. By the way, just I need to point out just since we're being nostalgic, my brother is wearing a shirt from high school. <laughs> and? He still fits in it. I'm so bad about that. <laughs> okay, so awesome. mm, next I have these are, are some one of my favorite favorite things that I own. Um, I'm so happy that I have these. And so you know, Transformers they they've gotten a little bit better now recently, but they went through about a 10, 15 year phase where they sucked. They were terribly made. They just weren't good. Right. But it's in called the early when they were days, called Gobots. No, no, no. Go I'm joking. Well, in the early yeah. days, oh, McDonald's yeah, Holy had smoke. Transformers in their Happy Meals, and I have the collection. Thing. And she got the collection. Look at this. 
Wow, She's chicken there. nuggets transform. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Transformers. Transformers. Soda. Robots That's disgusting. disgusting. Transformers. These are horrible. <laughs> wow, look at this. This is a uh, coffee. It's like soda. Like, nah, this ain't soda. This it's is a soda. milkshake. It has a, it has a, oh, yeah, this maybe is milkshake. Yeah, yeah, milkshake. A vanilla out. milkshake one. How stupid right. am I that I can't figure this one out? Uh, Hold on. stupid. <laughs> I would have said I could figure that out. There we go. There we go. This one here is, uh, she got a cheeseburger one. That looks kind of like Bumblebee. This is terrible. And this is back from 1988. No. Yes, 1988. 1988? 1988, when she was only like eight years old. Nine. Oh, Jason, this you'll appreciate. This has nothing to do with toy collections, but wow, when I was awesome. little, I used to make random things out of random things. <laughs> and I know you had a dream when you were a kid of like flying in a rocket and being an astronaut. Right. I made my own little rocket Holy out of smoke. random things. When Look I was at that. Wow. Isn't that cool? Is a spring? Uh, yeah, is that a pen top? Apart, I don't think yeah, I, I wouldn't be there. <laughs> it's like a spring, a pen top. Yeah. Uh, two two pen tops. Some I think, sort or of something. small jet engine. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. And you then, know and what? <laughs> and, yeah. Okay. Knew that was gonna happen. Now, because my brother asked for it, I'll let him open this box. Oh boy! All right. So, can you please not be mad at me? No. <laughs> I'm already like fuming. <laughs> uh oh. Remember when I just like this? I was like, yeah, I used to have all these garbage pail kits. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, how funny is that? How funny is that? Wow, it fits perfectly. Look at that. Wow. Oh my god. For the record, a lot of those are mine. A lot of those are, are mine. I can tell you exactly which ones are mine. Careful, oh, Jojo, so. careful. Jojo, Jordan, Jerry, God dang it, Jerry, careful. <laughs> Be careful. Those are, like, for real. Those are old school garbage pen kids. Be careful. Why do you have these? Because I had to keep them safe from the tragedy that was the So you just giveaway. took them from me? No, my, no, all I gave away was my action figure. I don't know. I've had, them in my, I've had them in my toy chest since, I, I, as far as I can remember. I'm taking these back. You can have the rest. I'm doing what? I'm doing kids. what with them? I'm gonna roll around naked in my bed. I don't care. I'm gonna do whatever I want because they're mine. Oh God. Okay, we'll talk about this later. We can take a talk about this offline. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's a awesome. Yeah. I. What are the garbage pail? Oh things? no. We're gonna we're gonna take this to forensic files. We'll see my fingerprints all over. All over. <laughs> So, Garbage Pail Kids, I mean, they're exactly... They oh, you don't know in, what these are? No, no. They, they came... They were trading cars, essentially. They came um, so in packs more. of, what, five or six, I think? Something like that? Um, I don't remember how... how I think packs. it was, like, five or six in a pack. Yeah, they're, they're and, quite gruesome. Yeah, and yeah. each in each one, there were, <laughs> were twins. So, you had the exact same picture, and then it was a different name for each twin. But not in the yeah. same pack. You had to try to find right, the Right, right. So there was an A card and there was a B card. Right. And then on the back it had um, either a big a puzzle piece and you could put find the puzzle pieces and make one big version of a, of a garbage pail card. Um, or they had like jokes that were like inappropriate. Like wanted posters. <laughs> right, wanted oh, yeah. song. Yeah, they even wanted had a one. movie. Remember the movie? I, Which was vaguely, horrible. Vaguely, yeah. vaguely, vaguely. It was terrible. Yeah, so that's an A and B. I have the A and B of that one, I'm pretty sure. Nice. Yeah, so tons and tons of stuff. Oh my god, that's nice. Like, and you know, you know, if you notice, it doesn't they, they resemble a little bit of a uh, of a ca uh, cabbage, cabbage, pa cabbage patch? Cabbage patch kids. Yeah, they yeah. all came out the same time. Yo, they yeah, they probably the same makers, were they? No, I think Garbage Pail Kids came out right after Cabbage Patch Kids. Is like a, a you know, I don't know yeah, shop yeah, face it, kind of thing, right? Yeah. It was big. Yeah, Garbage Pail Kids were based on Cabbage Patch. Kids. Yeah, yeah. These the dinosaur people. things, man. These I are love uh, these. These are kind of gross. Yeah, I can't believe you've never <laughs> seen the them. Point. Wow. I can't believe, yeah, these, this is what children grew up on. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you've never seen them. There's one here called Peep and Tom. Yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> but things were so different back then. I yeah, mean, everything no was so different. Like, so yeah. You yeah. know, we, used to have a, we, we, we even had a candy who was named Mary Jane. Hey, that's can you true. Pass Mary Jane? Remember, that's true. Remember Mary Jane? Uh, then when you became a teenager, you're like, you got oh, some Mary Jane. Oh, yeah, totally Mary Jane. Totally different request. <laughs> <laughs> totally different request. Like, I think this group here, these are yours, because I don't recognize these. Yeah? I think these are all yours. Well, some of them I recognize, but I think these are yours. But those are definitely mine. <laughs> We're going to have to have a meeting. <laughs> 
You're, you're laughing. I'm serious. I know you're serious. In, in this is why I'm laughing. In a way, didn't she She actually save them from being like Thank tossed you. out and given away? Thank not to you. Not to take any sides. I was never going to give them away. She never gave me the opportunity to keep them for myself. Uh -huh. Okay, so you just like snuck into his room one day and just stole, stole, uh, stole. She stole them. Whatever. <laughs> stole and hoarded. Hoarded. Whore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Screw you, man. Huh. Oh, you're the worst. This is awesome. <laughs> this is amazing. This is a, a walk down memory lane. I'm telling you. Okay. So, everyone, take a deep breath. Hi. Hmm. There's one more station on this crazy train. <laughs> one more station. And, like I said, it represents, just like you were saying, your your wrestling figures represent like a drop in the bucket. This represents a drop in the bucket of what I have. So right. I'm going to grab these all and right. we can all... This is like a field trip. Terry, put those down. Come on. Field you can trip. look at them later. <laughs> field trip. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> Very smooth. <laughs> smooth. <laughs> that like as old as Oh dirt. my gosh. All right. I know. All right. <clears throat> So I'm putting these down. You guys ready? Yeah. I don't know if I am actually. Oh, well, no. it's, this is a lot. You, you've, I, I introduced the crazy first, cause let's get out of the way. So this is a lot less oh. crazy. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And, and you and I wow. have an extensive history on this. Extensive history, and I'm bringing up my son right. This is awesome. Because he that. loves them too. So we're looking at this is nothing. Piece of my Legos. Oh my god. So I have in my storage unit two. Massive boxes, like up to here, here, massive boxes full of Legos, all organized by like the type of piece and everything. I have all the, uh, every single um, uh, instruction book ever. Like, I never lost a single Lego. I mean, I have thousands of them, and then all, like I said, all organized. But it, to get them out of my storage unit would have been so difficult. It just wasn't even funny, so I, I couldn't do it. So, this is all like newer stuff. And it's funny because part of the reason I kept all of them from when I was little, because they're so freaking expensive, and I thought, you know, I really hope my kid or kids, whatever, love Legos, and let me keep them so that I can just give them, you know, pass them down. And those are all in my storage unit, so I just ended up buying a whole bunch more. So, yeah, this is part of it. So this one, I just, this is my prized possession right now. I just finished it. Nice. I forget how many thousands of pieces it is, but it's a VW camper, which I've always wanted one, so By now I have one. By 1962. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, the, the back flap opens. You can see the engine. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's really Oh, cool. man, that's what's up, how, yo. How long did this take you? Months. You put the engine together and everything, all that stuff. Yeah. Everything was put together. Yeah. Jeez. This lifts ooh, This lifts up, which really I don't remember. Cool. I don't know what that function is, but this lifts out. Oh wow. man, look at that. The doors open. Oh man. These doors open. Oh, that's serious. Yeah. Yo, the, this is nice, these, yo. These front windows open. I wish I could be dedicated this much to something. <laughs> this is amazing. Imagine the dedication of trying to like invent them. Like your job is okay, create a new Lego That would camper. be like a dream job like, or that's your job. <laughs> and then this goes down and then this turns into a bed. Wow. See, that's Pretty one awesome, thing I huh? never got. I never got Legos when I was growing up. <gasps> oh, oh man, so you missed fun. out. And Well, so what my brother used to do, so I had two of my favorite things that I had when I was, for my Legos, was um, I had, ooh, darn it, a big gray castle um, that was the good castle, and then a big black castle that was the bad castle. And, Keep and your black big... joke to yourself, because <laughs> I know you're marinating on it. Yeah, but it was also the hotter one, because it was bigger it was and huge. it was badass. Yeah, wow. so it was... And it had the, 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 the drawbridge with the moat and everything. Totally, it was a string, and you can actually make it go down and stuff, and there was a gate that came up, and, and so and, and so it, they had all these different um, like knights and things, and horses, mm -hmm. and so I would build them over and over and over again. I'd build them, break them down, break them down. but my, my brother would do, which was so fun, um, and there was the treehouse thing, the, the treehouse little planet. Yeah, I, okay, yeah, yeah, that was one of my first. That yeah, was actually that one of my first one. That was um, wow. it was like a uh, a Robin Hood kind of characters, right. um, with a feather in their cap and everything, oh. and, it, and it swung open just like this one does, you know. But right. what's cool is my brother used Jurassic to, Park. yeah, oh wow, with the with a with a what is this? What is this? Uh, what is this? Come no, on, no, do no, it. no, 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 no,
Drosophilosaurus. Yeah, 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 so anyway, um, uh, what my brother used to do is we would set up the he would set up the the gray castle on one end of the living room and the black castle on the other end of the room, and he would make the living room like his stage and basically entertain me for hours with this huge battle scene. It was <laughs> the awesome. coolest thing in the world. Like That's he would make awesome. a huge scene. And, and then, start and then with an elaborate story and end in a huge battle scene. Yes, and yes. The battle scene would probably take like a good thirty minutes to an hour. Yes. And so and, and he would incorporate everything. So I had like a, a plane and he would somehow there would be a plane involved. Like it's just like everything that I had he would incorporate was so not, cool. not to sound like an old man, but yeah. remember those days when we used to like play with things and like use our imagination and come up with storylines and do all that stuff. I know. Now, yeah. nowadays, kids don't have to think. Not they as don't have much. To use not their as much. It's, it's a lot about the electronic babysitting yeah. these days. But you know, that's why that's why Legos are so. Like, I'm trying to pass it on to my kid. We have Lego nights where we do nothing but we just build something together. I oh, I didn't him, know that. Yeah, that's he cool. helped me find the little pieces. Like, he helped he helped build a lot of a lot of this camper. Actually, he helped build this. So he helps me. He like finds. I tell him, okay, this is what I'm looking for, is, or I need two more of these, and he helps me find them. And look at this. This is nice. Thank you. I think that I think the flaps come out on that one. This is a little Star Wars. But I think yeah. Legos teaches like while you're having fun, it teaches a lot of great intellectual and yeah. problem solving skills and engineering kind of and dexterity. And, and yeah, stuff. totally. Like, it's it's great. <laughs> Jason's playing with the Green Goblin. This is nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How long does it be between when the movie opens and you see the movie? I got it on Bootleg. <laughs> already, already you got it on Bootleg. I got Bootleg, don't worry about it, bro. You know what I mean? He already knows how it ends and everything. He has already. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, this is, like I said, just like a small little piece. This is just what I've collected recently. This is awesome, yo. Did you, Jerry, did you see these? The Simpsons. Simpsons characters? Oh, no, that's cool. Yeah, they have, oh, God, I wish I had the money for it. They have, um, they have, like, the Cookie Mart. They have the Simpsons house. Oh, nice. Yeah. They even have, um, I've only seen a few episodes, and even though it is a really good show, but they even have the Big Bang Theory, like, living room, like, the main living room. <laughs> well, get out of here, really? Yeah, yeah. Show them. Have you been to Legoland in uh, no, Orlando? No, totally going to take Jordan um, someday soon. I don't know when, but, yeah, awesome. I'm dying to go. I've been dying to go ever since they were heard. How old do you think he has to be to appreciate, like, uh, Four. <laughs> I guess I guess you thought about it. <laughs> not once, not even once. Yeah, so I have I just I just love this stuff. This is awesome. Like, this is real. great stuff. This is not as uh, weird as the Hello Kitty. Okay, okay I know. That's yeah. why I told you. I thought that, I, that is crazy. That's scary. That's scary. That's, scary. <laughs> that's, scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's kind of weird. This I yeah, completely good. support this. Well, in yeah. my defense, that <laughs> stuff has been in storage for quite a few years. In my defense. <laughs> You're looking at me so like I'm bananas. <laughs> oh, my yeah. You can't just defend yourself because you already bought it. I, mean, I know. That's what makes it bad. It's like saying, hey, look, I've got all these dead bodies, but I haven't looked at them. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm like, you know, so long. I got, we got to put, we got to put the, je the Jedi. <laughs> right. Right. You can't cover yourself. <sighs> So uh, none of one of you guys were, were in, in Transformers? Yeah, I was. Yeah. I got a couple a of them at home. Um, but basically, um, at that time, it was real expensive. Yeah. Right. So yeah. I had, like, ten knockoffs, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I had some of the knockoffs, too. And sometimes they was, those were just as fun. Yeah, they were fun, but, like... like Anything that transformed, I was like, except for <gasps> Bobo, this, those stuff. Yeah, though, no, I think... Uh-oh, uh-oh. You know what I just remembered? What? Speaking of... Um, the time when we used to have to be creative and use our imagination. Mm -hmm. Our imagination, yeah. Do you remember what was it called? Um, the greatest game ever? No. Uh, I think you saw read it about it in like a highlights book or something. Super game. Super game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super yeah. game. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Tell them about super game. Okay, super oh, game. It was awesome. I'm definitely gonna do super game with my kids. Yes. If I ever have any. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Always a prize, but I never a prize. Okay. No, I'm sorry, joking. So, so Super Game basically is you just take, it's, it's supposed to be a board game that you, you use your whole house as a board. And what you just do is you just take a whole thing of um, paper, just like line. Stack of paper, yeah. Yeah, stack, stack of paper. And then you, and uh, you know, you, you, and you can also, it, what's great about it is with your kids, you can have them help you make the game. So mm -hmm. like, you know, you just take some piece of paper, you say, hey, look, you make up totally stuff. You totally do like, this with the girls. Go, go. Write down, go back five places, or um, 
go ahead to or, or like, return, skip to, a turn. return to start. Go back or, to start. Right, right, whatever, whatever. Right. And then you've got all these. It's just regular. It's like Monopoly. No, 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 no. no, no. no. So no, you no. just take every piece of paper, and then you, let's say we start at the door. You just take a piece of paper. Each one is a space on the board. You just start. You just make a board out of, out you of, can out go of the house. Under oh. chairs, paper, over like, the whatever, couch. Whatever. It takes around, like, like a good twenty minutes to set up. It's the thing so much fun. Yeah, yeah. You know? And then so then you set up the whole thing. And yet, like you could even do like a piece that goes on the the, the cushion of a chair, and then the rest, the three pieces over the table, and right. then the, yeah, however yeah, you want. So, so much fun. Oh, so much yeah. fun. Well, since we grew up in that era, we have imaginations. Let's play. Well, yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Totally. We we actually can. Yeah, and but, then and then every and then every few spaces you've got you have them write something that says like go back go back to star, you know, get an extra turn, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then each person gets ten toys. Mm -hmm. And then you have a stack of a deck of cards. Right. So then the first person that goes, you get to you get to do two cards. So either you can move one toy, like let's say I get or I get a two and a four, right? One toy two Stop, or the second <laughs> okay, sorry. You can send one one toy two and the other one four, or you can add them up. For six, obviously, and send one toy, whatever. Okay. Oh, nice. So you, you can make you make it a decision. Be like you know try to. So then like the kid will be looking and say like okay I can't send this one six because I'm gonna land on that one. So I'm gonna send one two and one four mm -hmm. and then figure it out and then you, you can go like that. And you've got all your toys everywhere all around the house. And you're running and everywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The that's whole time so you're nice. running all over the place. It's so good. Like oh, that, oh, did, 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 so did you come fun. up with that? No, I read it in the, so in the highlights, highlights magazine. Yeah, highlights. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I like that. that all so many times. Yeah. So many times. Yeah. We so need to do that. Do like a podcast on that. <laughs> Play the game. A super you know game man. podcast. This super is the podcast, podcast, you know, instruction. And then I'll do it in Spanish. Entonces tú vas a tirar el Vamos a tirar el piso, pero para atrás, uno y dos. Está bien. All right, there you go. Now, I would suggest, though, don't take all, when you're done with the game, don't take all the papers and put them all together. Take the ones that have writing on it. Put them in one stack, and yeah. then all the rest of the ones, just the white paper, piece of paper, keep that in another stack. That's Very awesome. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Very good point. That oh, was one of man. my favorite things we so did. Good. Uh, oh, so, so you actually fun. did this? Oh, yeah, many, time. many times. Many, many times. times. So I had it by Transformers, and, and she had her My, my Little Ponies or yeah. whatever. And we would oh. play. Yeah, when yeah. I have oh, kids, that's what's going to happen. Uh, yeah, it was so, so much, much fun. fun. That's what's going to happen. That's amazing. So much fun. Well, I think that is uh, the perfect place to end the podcast. I think that... You know, we had a great time going down memory lane in all kinds no of ways. Yo. Um, so. I'm glad my toys are still coming back to my possession. Oh, shut up. So. <laughs> all right, here's how we. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can go with that. All right. So here's how we end a Pod Squad podcast, right? Hands in. Oop. Oh, I'm a newbie, so. All right. One, two, three, Pod Squad. Ready? One, two, three, Pod, Pod Squad! squad! No doubt, Papa J up in here. Y'all keep it real. Good job, guys. Thank you. Word. <laughs> Just drinking it. all my stuff. Scotty Fusion. <laughs> That's Jordan's. I got to explain that one. I, I so lost the His head is on the floor. Oh, crap. <laughs> Gerard Jr. in the house. I'll be back. No doubt. That's what's up. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And, and Yo, Jason's here too. So, yeah. Hey. I like that. Not Hello Kitty. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay, let's we're going to wrestle now. Ready? I'm going to get on top. I'm going to jump on you. You have successfully curved the cube.